Hello guys, Woohoo here, back with another video, this time around Sunfest! We got finally got Sunfest and just before I'm heading out to Amsterdam, so very wonderful, amazing, fantastic. If you do hear a little bit of background noise for like a fan and stuff like that, it's super hot right now in Denmark, like no wind and like 25 degrees, which is really hot for me. So I have my fan behind me, so sometimes it might blow a little bit in the microphone. If you don't hear it, I don't know if you do, but if you do, that's, that's why. It's just, and also maybe some noise because I'm right next to the window, right? Probably see the window behind me, but there's a window right here. So yeah, there might be some noise from the street, but Sunfest is back. We got 11 steps for this quest. So we got a few to go through to, to this one, but I do want to mention that we do of course have the 14 days of the daily ones we usually have. So that is definitely in from the start. So go ahead and get yourself an ore and make sure every Saturday, even though I'm going to be away, I will still do just one dungeon on Saturday just to get it done. Or maybe I'll do it actually Sunday because yeah, it'll probably be gone all the way. But the point is, make sure you do one on San, uh, not Sunday, Saturday for that double XP potion. Very important. Also, I just want to mention that on Thursdays, we do get three empowered gym boxes. Not that crazy, but usually you have to do like a quest like from NPCs or something like that. But you can actually do the PvP quest. So if you go to the hub, I'll show you guys when we get to the hub. Press. Pretty sure we have to go that in step number one. I'll show you guys that going into the PvP quest, but it's over at the PvP place down, you go go down there is the pvp quest and you just do have to get one uh you know pvp coin one blast coin and that completes that step um or completes the quest and that completes also that uh, daily adventure on thursdays to get those three um you know empowered gem boxes it's super easy i do it anyways just to get the coins and stuff but it, it just know that you can do that pretty easily and uh, you basically can complete and get three that way so two basically two flies with one hit I guess that is the or two birds with one stone. That's basically what it's called. But I just wanted to mention that on Thursdays that we have this PvP quest and you can do it doing that one as well. Or, uh, you know, today just gather one ore or actually get it from Pinata. Pinata. So you can do that as well. So I also wanted to mention before we head into the uh, the quest steps, I do want to say with the store here, we got three packs again. All the previous ones are here again. As you can see, I don't have the one from the pinatas or whatever they're called because I always usually buy that one. But they are also back uh, all the previous ones. So that's why there's only two here and two here. But we got three here and I'm probably going to buy this one or this one or this one. Uh, well, this one. But I, I wanted to mention it because 2000 credits is actually pretty nice price i feel like i feel like i know you have some of the big collectors and all that stuff is going to get all three that's still six thousand right that's uh how many that's that's credit that's about that's about thirty dollars 40 40 35 35 dollars or something like that but to get all three of them but uh, you can only also just get one of them, one of your favorites, and it's only 2,000, which I feel like is a pretty nice price for all the things you do get in all of these. So yeah, pretty cool uh, stuff. And there's three different ones, and now it's all pool party theme. But I just wanted to mention that I think it's a pretty good price for what you get out of it. But enough with the intros, enough with the information, all that stuff. Uh, let's head into step number one. All right, so for step number one, we have to go to the hub and you can see you got the three houses over there. They look very, very cool. I, I really love how they look. I wish these were uh, store things. You can actually get these. You probably can in some way. I don't know. Maybe there was something I missed, but I would love to have these houses as a framework uh, and somebody's got like plastered a comment with actually saying that you can get it in the store. So I just want to mention first, the guy is right over here. So if you just want to go ahead and talk to that guy, you can. But I just want to show you guys, like I said in the intro, right over here next to the dragon. It's the, the hub looks so cool with all this. Looks so, so, so cool. But yeah, on the left here with the dragons and here, the little bit of house here is the Bomberell one. So if you go down the stairs right here, right here, as you can see, you can earn yourself a Bomberell coin and that's going to complete that Thursday quest just to get you guys to know that's pretty easy to do, simple to do so. But let's head over to the guy. He's right here. He looks very cool. And then we probably have to interact all with these houses later on. But the first thing is just to go up to him. And it doesn't actually say you have to interact with him, but you do have to meet him. So we're going to go ahead and meet him by hitting our interact button. And that is it. And just going to complete step number one. So pretty simple. Just go in there, 
talk to the guy. The little side thing was there just so you guys know, because we're probably going to get into the hub multiple times and stuff like that, because it is 11, uh, you know, quests. So we might going to be a bunch of times. But yeah, that is step number one. Let's head into step number two. All right, for step number two, we have to craft a banner, the uh, the big banner guy. And you don't talk to this guy again. You go right over here. It's really pretty hard to see, but there is the printer, actually. So you got a 3D printer. That's pretty cool. You know, very modern. But this is the banner we need to get. So it gives 200 light, which is really nice. Superstition. Oh, okay. 100 lazenmancy and 5 experience gain. That's actually pretty awesome. This is actually something you actually want to get because 5% experience is pretty cool. Might actually be something that they put into more things. I would love to have my ally in the game, right? So I would love to have that experience gain as well. So first of all, it's going to cost you one of these coins. You got these from the previous step, so don't worry about that. And then you need 5,000 flux for these. But then you need all the licenses. And what you have to do is you have to go to into one, all the houses and go right up to this guy there's a quartermaster there's also a house here where you have to craft a bunch of stuff and there's some previous stuff you, you gotta craft as well and all the houses as well so let's start over here with this guy and you have to buy the license the mining license cost you 5,000 flux there's also a bunch of other stuff oh it's all over the place uh, but yeah it's gonna cost you uh, 5,000 flux to get the license. You can only buy it once, it seems, so you can just buy one. And I'm gonna go ahead to the next one right here, buy another license. So that's 10,000. So 20,000 in all, because this is 15,000. And then we can we have to craft it as well, as you can see. Now we have a license for all of these. So you can only make one of these, basically. And then, like I said, 5,000 flux. So that's also 20,000 in total for each of the license. The coin is, of course, called free. But yeah, then you need this. And then we're going to go ahead, just craft it. And that's going to complete step number two. So pretty simple. But the banner is pretty cool, as you can see right here. So... Also, sometimes you may find these coins by defeating foes or while mining in troves. So this is going to be the banner you're also going to rock, uh, like, through the whole event and such. But I do want to say that this is something you probably also want to hang on to after the event. Uh, it might be, I don't know if it's going to, oh, it actually ends in 13 days. Okay, never mind. I just saw on the bottoms because usually sometimes they say this disappears when it's over. So I just saw that. And you probably saw it already in the start. But yeah. Um, 5% experience is pretty cool if you want to level up the new class or whatever, but I wish that this would stay in the game. That would be so much fun, but uh, yeah, apparently it's not going to be so. So, But yeah, you can get extra coins by having this equipped, but I wish that this would stay around, but it's not okay. Anyway, so, this is a little, little, little sad, a little sad, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that was step number two. Let's head into step number three. All right, guys, for step number three, all you have to do is get yourself some of these coins. I went... Uh, right up here in the ruined sky world here. It doesn't work very much power rank to get in here But this is where you can actually get the cloud So let me see if I can't find some cloud as you can see I have already 12 I only bombed two of these so let's go ahead and bomb this one see how many we get a stupid cloud See now 14 that was only two so <laughs> before I got two and then five so there's see that, Oh, that was a lot that was six coins. That was six coins. So let's see let's get more here this is also, of course, on Tuesday. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Uh, but, you know, uh, you can do it with foes. You can kill things as well. It says enemies, foes. Uh, but I think I would suggest if you do, if you want coins, do it on, like, uh, from mining. Do it on Tuesday. If you do it any other, other day, just, like, kill enemies and stuff like that. Um, let's see. Let's get this one as well. Now we are on 35. Also, you get, of course, the fragments for the other dragon. But those are pretty easy to get anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's step number three. Just go out and mine. You don't have to be mining here. You can mine anywhere. Uh, and Or just go out and there and defeat things and you probably get the coins. But make sure you have, you know, the banner equipped. That's the only way you're going to get it. So, yeah, it's just sometimes. But that's actually pretty crazy. Like, I've been doing what... Uh, minute and a half i'm already done with uh, step number three almost so i'll finish step number three probably pretty quick i'll see you guys in step number four all right guys for step number four we are back in the hub and we do have to print money well it it, it says you know trophy and whatever thing it is but this is a printer i know you can't really see it for people's faces but it is a printer and this icon to me 
really, really looks like a money icon. So I'm, I'm just going to assume we are start printing money. But we are going to have these here coins from the previous step. And then it's going to cost you 500 flux. But these seems like, yes, it seems like a lot for these coins. Like 50 seems a lot. But you also get a lot of them. As you can see, that was pretty easy to get. So we are going to get ourselves one of these. So you just have to craft one of these. Uh, you can also donate if you want to do so and you have a lot of these and you probably will just by defeating foes having that equipped let's go ahead and craft that and that's just going to complete step number four there's not really much more to it than uh crafting yourself you know one of these here money and <laughs> but uh yeah of course it's super legal to print money but i guess trove uh, you know do that i don't know <laughs> but anyways uh that was step number four we can head into step number five now all right, so for step number five, we have to purchase anything from the Quartermasters. And I'm going to start here. You can start with any of the Quartermasters if you want to do so. So I'm just going to go ahead in here and you can craft yourself any of these things here. So this is going to cost you 30. This is going to cost you one. This is probably the one we are going to buy. And then you can buy 10 and it's probably weekly. You can buy 10 of these for three or three for 10. So 30 in that. And also this is probably once per week. So this is like... Uh, two of them but i'm gonna start with buying one of these and then you can go into these these are the crafting benches where you need to do these so uh basically you just go up to this one you can also i um, just want to make sh you know show you guys that you can also buy one for these and for the other ones as well if you want to but i'm just going to purchase these coins from this one and that's going to complete your step number five you don't even have to craft anything in here uh from anything else than that so i'm just gonna you know that's just step number five. There's not really much more to it. Just craft, craft one of those coins and then you can go ahead and, and uh, craft some of the other things. But I don't know if that's going to be one of the steps later on, but uh, we'll see. But you basically need these coins for any of these other things that you want in here. Uh, the plane, for example, you need 40 of these and also some of these other coins. Coins, coins, coins. <laughs> also, there is also a big, uh, this one, which basically gives you all sorts of things that are related to all of this. But anyways, that was uh, step number five. We can now head into step number six. All right, we are now on step number six. And in step number six, as you can see, I already have 10 coins because I actually, you know, collected these and I actually counted towards this. We need to do 250 coins. So you saw how easy it was to get just a 50 coins. So 250 is not going to be that hard. But I am back in the sky world as I was before. So I'm going to go out there, mine some more of the cloud and get myself 250 coins. You can also, again, just do this by just randomly killing enemies and stuff like that. I don't know if that's easier or harder but i feel like this is the simplest way to do it as you i don't know what the drop rate is for the other one and since it's tuesday as well doing this i just you know might as well get some cloud and get some extra coins uh some extra you know clouds uh for that as well so i'm actually back in the same world so i'm just gonna go out there get myself 250 coins and yeah that's step number six and so not very much more to do than that then get 250 and yeah step number six is done and we can see yourself in step number seven all right so this is step number seven and we have to go back to the hub because we have to talk to kubesley now and as you probably can see when we go over here the guy is gone so it says basically uproar over uh your new friend so apparently it's a friend i i i, I just met him but okay we can be friends sure why not so let's go ahead and interact with cubesley uh they can't really uh you just have to be close to him it seems like there's no like hey this is gonna happen so basically that is what it is you know that's step number seven just go up and talk to cubesley and we're probably going to figure out how we are going to get or be friendly with this new guy i don't know uh make sure of course you have this banner equipped like like almost all the time when you you know have uh you know doing all that coins and trying to get so if you don't get coins maybe check if you still have the banner on just wanted to mention that i didn't mention that in the previous step but i thought it was obvious because of it before but i don't know that was step number seven pretty easy pretty simple just go up talk to cubesley but now we can head into step number eight all right so for step number eight what we have to do is meet with one of the representatives so as you can see there's a icon right over there but it says right here that we apparently he was doing some criminal activity this new guy that or our friend but we were also printing money i i think we're in you know implant what is it called like implicit or something like that we are definitely guilty as well we printed that money as well you know i know we could have 
you know, just I did mention it was illegal. I I'm, I'm, I did mention it was illegal, but I think we're still criminal as well as they are. But what we have to do is just go over here. So we were just over there, excuse me. Now we just go over here and get that guy again. And it seems like we have to do something with these here gateways. So, uh, but that's that. That is probably for the uh, yeah. As you can see, you probably have to defeat him. But that's step number nine. So, but that is all the what we're heading into. Maybe um, we clear our name with defeating this guy. You know. We uh, didn't know we were we were ignorant when we printed money, but I seem like we were not that ignorant. Maybe maybe we'll just be the, the the police, anyways. But anyways, that was step number eight. Now we can head into step number nine. All right. So for step number nine, what we have to do is make ourselves the gateway. As you can see here, these two. Uh, what I think is pretty cool. I just want to mention this is that you can get the memento for this guy. You don't. It's not going to be random. You're actually just going to get it. So you know exactly how much you need to get this memento. I wish they would change this for all the other mementos that you just had some goal to work toward. And it might be somewhat harder to you know or more grinding actually if you are not lucky with the rng but at least you know how much you need to get it so i hope that was going to be more awesome towards the mementos because i hope that was it's going to be a change for everything that's what i'm trying to say but we need 10 of these we only got one because we got one from the previous step so we need nine more and because we have some from the previous steps also of the coins right we can make about five so we need to get 250 approximately well, 200 uh, more of these coins here so i'm gonna head back to the uh, the air world again or the sky world here the air ruins here and get ourselves uh, about 200 more coins so i can make the last nine or uh, yeah so we can get 10 to make the you know uh, the, the gateway so we can go into there so i'll get the coins then i'll be back when we can craft the gateway all right i got the 950 as we are going to need to make ourselves nine oh actually 19 well okay i calculated that wrong <laughs> i calculated that wrong oh well i can make 19 so i'm just gonna go ahead and make the 19 i don't know how i calculated that wrong but i guess uh, i'm not that Oh, we needed 500, 500 in total, 500 in total to get the 10. So that's 450, 450. I don't know why I said so many. Oh, oh and now I just have more of them. I printed more money. I'm just more of a criminal, I guess. But anyways, now we had at least have enough to get our this one. So now we actually have 20. So I'm sorry about that, but as, yeah, 500. Yeah, you probably probably guessed it. You were like, I don't know why I said it. I was thinking it was a thousand, but it didn't took very long anyway. So it's, it's like, hmm, yeah, it's basically just over. But I'm gonna go ahead and craft ourselves the uh, gateway. So for that, we're also gonna head back into the club to place it down. All right, so we are in the club. You can also probably put them in your cornerstone. As you can see, it's right there in my bar. But what I am looking for is the uh, my lowest guy which is my tomb raiser and i'm gonna place it down because it probably works exactly the same no it's 112 still all right it doesn't really matter i think it has to be 112 but it could be also lower uh, but there is a trick where you can put your lowest uh, combat power or you know power and character uh and then go in and then move it when you are in you can move it to a, a bigger one at least that's how it works but i just did it with the shadow hunter with 112 as it also was on the other one so uh we are going to go through this so i'm going to go on my dragon light to have the most power here and i'm going to kill the creatures and we'll see at the boss room what is going to happen so I'll, I'll be back when i have killed 59 creatures to uh, get to the boss all right, we are now at the boss. I'm gonna go ahead. It didn't show that guy at, so yeah, that's not the guy. <laughs> that is not uh, Chuck Penzo. Maybe he's hiding somewhere lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and defeat this guy. And yeah, we're just gonna get all of that and loot collect as well, and then head into the next floor. So we'll see when we get him. So uh, I'm heading into the next floor and I'll see you guys at the next floor. All right, we are now at the next boss again. It didn't look like this guy. Then that's also just a squad. So we hopefully uh, we uh, can get. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I entered the right one there. What uh, happened there? Okay, never mind. I just looked weird when it came up. Uh, where is the loot collectors right here? Okay, I can't see it. All right, uh, let's move on to the next floor. Then. All right, so I am now at the third one, as you can see, and that's actually a picture of this guy right here, and also the money that he is copying. But this is controlled, as you can see, by the pinatas, and that looks abs it looks absolutely amazing. I just always love that sort of color. 
scheme. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna be here because he's at the, there. So let's see, let's get him out here. Yep, that is Chuck. Here we go, Chuck. You are not gonna be any more shenanigans with that at all. So we did get also a, a memento. We got a memento for that. That was actually a house of this one. I don't know if this is new or this is something you could have before, but we got all the other things as well. But that defeats him and also completes step number nine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and also just use one of these because might as well, because we do have this one and might as well get ourselves the there's different things, you know, loot, <laughs> loot collectors, I was about to say. No, I mean, like, uh, you know, those uh, Lunar Souls and Titan Souls and all that stuff. But that was step number nine. Uh, I don't, I'm not guaranteeing he's always going to beat the third floor. But uh, it, if it's this one, it at least seemed like that. But you can also see it when you get, I guess, to the boss there, as you saw I did as well. And it just looks very, very cool, all of this. But, like I said, this was step number nine. Let's head into step number ten. All right, guys, for step number 10, all we have to do is go to Prime World. It, it does have to be, I'm pretty sure it has to be above U1 to go there, but that's also 250 required. And you just go somewhere in the biome and wait a little bit, and then he will appear, the invader here. I, I thought it has something to do with the invaders, but it, I don't think it has. I tried a few times and he just did, appears like randomly it sort of seems but yeah it just go around in your day and it's gonna be there and what we have to do is meet with him as you can see that is what just happened and that's basically complete step number you know number 10 but we can really quickly see what you can buy so daily we can buy uh coins i don't know how many dragon coins this is is it only one dragon coin uh i don't know if it's only one dragon coin uh, i'm just gonna buy i don't know how many uh okay so that didn't show how many dragon coins I bought, did it? No, it didn't show how many dragon coins I bought. I can't see how many I did. Uh, seems like one pound brilliance. It's also one per day, I guess. And then one loop and one focus. And one also one paragon. So that's pretty cool. You can buy these once a day, though. This is a one, uh, you know, uh, stock will be replenished daily or weekly. So this might be weekly, who knows? And these might be weekly, I don't know. Uh, and these might be daily, the other ones. Uh, but yeah, you definitely buy these, uh, but I don't think these are super, super great. I just wanted to see if, how many we got because it only seems to be one. And then he actually disappears. Okay, so uh, you don't have that long to, ha you know, buy your stuff and get on with it. But that's how you're going to complete step number 10. I don't think the rewards was that crazy, but now you know you could pause the video. You can see how many it is and you know how many it is going to be. But yes, that was step number 10. It looks like we have to head back to the, the hub for step number 11. All right, for the last step, step number 11, we have to go back to the representative of the guy and we have to interact with him. As you can see right here, we interacted with him and we get 50,000, not 50, 15,000 uh, of that. But actually here, it's a next quest. It's actually also here, so there's a bonus quest as well but it's gonna cost us get us 15,000 not 50,000 to get that one so it actually is a secret uh extra quest and we will also do uh, that one but that was step number 11 let's head into the bonus step all right guys so for this bonus step we have to find the old hub so if you don't know how to get to the old hub you can just go ahead and get it there uh he's actually on the surface there it's just pretty easy to find him when you are going to get there but i will show you right here if you want to tag along for showing you guys of course i'll speed it up so we can get there faster but basically we have to get into uh we can basically see well we can't really see here oh you can see you can see it uh right here we have to get out of this not here all the way west basically but i'm just showing that this is where the basic you're going to take damage so we want to get all the way out here and we can just do that by going out there and then uh we can basically fly up and just fly out of there or just keep it going and flying and stuff like that so you just want to go to fast as you can but you always want to head as much as you can west and you can see that on the top of the screen there right here i know it's a little small but always go west you can see somebody's already heading out there to get yourself to the old hub so i'll go there to the old hub now and you guys can follow along if you want to
All right, when you then see this one, you have to get into it. Uh, as you can see, you don't take damage when you get up to here, but you get the way damage all the way there. So all you have to do is go into the adventuring portal right here, uh, get through the loading screen. So that's basically a cloud thing. Just make sure you look for it. Because sometimes you can stray a little bit, but it's just west all the way. West, 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 let's see. Entering the world, low in player, there we go. And this is actually old hub, and you see the guy is right over there. But basically, yeah, this is all it is. This is just the old hub as well. This is what it looks like, uh, you know, if you didn't know, this is what it looked like when it first started out the game. And right over here, you could go over here, you are just gonna interact with him as well. Just go ahead and interact with him, and that is gonna complete you the bonus step as well. I think it, it already, oh, you have to claim it. Okay, so it claims it, it's a little ally, it's gonna cost you, get you 20 mastery as well. But this is how you are going to, so just keep going west. Uh, as you can see, it helped with all having death defying as well. And, and you can see how many uh, potions I used as well. So that's the, the way of the bonus. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Helps me out very much. I super much appreciate it for doing all these videos here for you guys. I hope you guys really appreciate it because I really appreciate you guys. That's for sure. So thank you guys for all the support. Always very appreciated. And thank you again so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.